Hi, right, good morning everybody. We are here in uh, Gadsden, Alabama, north of Birmingham up here. We're, uh, we're on our way to Whiteville, Virginia. It's about as far as I'm going to be able to make it today. I tried starting this video outside, but it's a little cold out there. I got shorts and a short sleeve t-shirt on. And then the guys that work in the shop, they was constantly walking by from getting their lunch. And uh, I kept having to get on with Bella. <laughs> she wanted to get up behind them. But uh, anyways, we're starting. Uh, we started the video in Birmingham. I actually started at 2 o'clock this morning. But the, uh, you know, it's dark outside. You can't see nothing on the video. So we are... Uh, like I said, we're here in Gadsden, Alabama. I've done did about six and a half hours of driving or so. Five and a half hours or something like that. Uh, we stopped here at the Petro. I need to get a shower, get fuel, do a 30 minute break and all that stuff. We still got about five, five and a half more hours to go. And that's gonna get me to Whiteville Virginia and then tomorrow we're going to get up and we're going to finish our trip to Northampton Pennsylvania to unload this load of base oil I sure hope I can make it back this way a little bit before it starts getting bad they talking about bad ice and rain and snow and stuff like that up around Pennsylvania uh, starting tomorrow so I'm just hoping I can make it back this away. Or I hope I, I hope I don't run into any problems. It is what it is. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. That's good either way. But our 30 minute breaks up with we've been here for about I'm gonna say about an hour now. And I'm about to pull out and start heading toward hopefully I ain't got to stop again I might have to use the bathroom and might have to stop one more time and let Bella out but she used the bathroom pretty good just a while ago so she might be alright it turned out to be a pretty nice day today too it's 50 degrees outside sun's out shining bright as y'all can see it's real clear outside so you couldn't ask for a better, um, better day today. I don't think it's going to last long though. Anyways, enough of my jibber jabbering. Let's let's get on the road.
are now in Wytheville, Virginia. This is where I made it to. I had to stop right down the road and PC for a couple couple minutes to get over here. I almost made up time to make it, but I didn't make it all the way, so I had to do a little PC. And it is about, I think it said about 50 degrees out here. The sun's out. Right up there, man, that thing is beautiful. It's beautiful out here. It feels good. I'm in short pants and a short sleeve shirt on again. And uh, I got a, I figured out what was wrong with my windshield wiper. The arm came off of it. So I got another piece to, to try to fix it. I ain't ever done it. So that's what we're going to do this evening is try to fix that windshield wiper. I don't want that storm to roll in and me not be able to uh, um, use the other windshield wiper, not work properly. And then ice start accumulating on the windshield and stuff like that and I can't see nothing. So I need to try to get that fixed. And then my shifter's leaking air in it, and I need to try to fix that shifter. So that's what's going to be on the agenda for this evening before I cook and go to sleep. Uh, let's see here. It's what, 3? It's 3.30 now. So I'll be able to start at 1.30 in the morning. I don't have but about six and a half more hours before I get to... Uh, <coughs> uh, Hang on, I forgot where I was going again. Crap. I don't have but about six and a half more hours before I even get there. Let me look at my paperwork. I keep forgetting what the name of this place is, what this place is called. Uh, Northampton, there we go. Northampton, Pennsylvania. So, I got about six and a half more hours in Northampton, Pennsylvania. I made my appointment for 12 o'clock tomorrow, but I'm going to be there about 8, 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to get with it. Uh, we're going to try to get that windshield wiper fixed and that, that uh, shifter fixed this evening. That way I ain't dealing with it no more. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see this or not. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. You see that piece right there? Right there, tip of my finger? That's what I'm having to change. So I just took the bolts off the outside. All I got to do is reach in here. Grab this and pull it straight out. This little rubber piece, this little piece right there at the end where my pinky finger is, that's what I need to change. So that's what we're going to do. Now. Before we put the windshield wiper back on there, which is this piece to here, put the nut back on it. I need to get up in there and hook it all up. That way we can adjust the windshield wiper properly. Now, I just gotta squeeze that back onto that. And it should be good. We're gonna try that out. All right, well, I got that finished. I had to take my whole freaking day gum dash apart right here and take all my air duct out. This is my defroster duct, and this is the air duct. I take all that out so I can get to it, but there it is, put back together. That rod right there come off of that 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 plastic piece. Uh, that plastic piece was all wore out, so I had to put it. I had to use two sets of pliers to squeeze it back on there, and then put it up in the hole and get outside the truck. Uh, I had to get outside the truck and put uh put the screws back in it. I got the windshield off back where it needs to be at. Now I gotta finish putting all this air duct back on there and I'll be done with that part. Alright, I'm out here cooking me food now. I got my bacon right here. My eggs are on right now, which they should be about done. And then I got a nice looking steak I'm gonna throw on there. I'm gonna eat this good food right here then go get, wash my hands up and stuff like that. Clean all my stuff up. And then I'm going to get in the truck. There's my steak right there. Got my eggs and my bacon and my steak. Yum, yum. Get you some. <laughs> so what did we all do today? We uh we left uh, Stonehaven in Braithwaite, Louisiana with our load of base oil. Oh, we drove until we got to Gaston, Alabama. 
let Bella out, went and took a shower, got something to eat, did all that stuff. And then we took off from there and we got on over here to Wytheville, Virginia. I don't know exactly how many miles I went today, but I know the temperature is about 48 degrees. The sun's going down now, so it's getting a little bit cooler. But it uh, felt good out here just a while ago. I got my windshield wipers fixed finally. Couldn't fix my air leak on my shifter. So I'm about to just order another shifter. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I'm going to say we probably went around about... Oh, hold on. Let me find out. Yeah, we went uh, 788 miles today. That's a pretty good long day of running. Uh, and made it here within 11 hours, 11 hours and five minutes or something like that. But we're gonna continue our trip on up to Northampton, Pennsylvania tomorrow. Like I said earlier, we got about six and a half hours left to go. And um, uh -oh. oh, look at that stage. Don't this fucking look good? Oh, there's another bone right there. Uh, anyways, we got about six and a half hours left to go till we get to Northampton, Pennsylvania. Hopefully when I get there, they can unload us and get me out of there. Because I really would like to try to beat that storm. I don't know if y'all can see this. That is beautiful. But anyways, I'm going to sit here and eat my supper when this steak gets finished cooking. And uh, I'm going to call it a night. I hope y'all have a blessed one. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try to continue to do a daily vlog every day of what I do. This is called Trucking with Mike because I want it to be a trucking channel, but I don't want to, I don't want to be like any other body. I want to show stuff, what I do on the weekends and stuff like that too. Anything to do with my life. But y'all have a blessed one and we'll see y'all on the next one. On tomorrow's.